Sup nerds, today we have a blue hybrid versus a Cherubimon uh, match. Um, I won the die roll, so I'll be going first. Hatch my Upamon, Digivolve into my Salamon. Go ahead and play a Mimi from my hand. I do have kind of an awkward hand, it's like three hybrids and like a death claw, I think. Uh, my opponent starts out by hatching an Upamon, Digivolving into uh, BT7 Strabby, I believe that is. No, I'm sorry, BT6 Strabimon. Then he plays a Davis, uh, grabs BT4 Strabimon, and sets me to two. I go ahead and promote, and swing into security. Um, the main, uh, and I do check a uh, 2k and die. The main thing you want to do against blue hybrid is keep your stuff off the board, but still aggress them whenever you can. So like pretty much every opportunity I have, I'm just going to promote my rookie at a raising and just swing and just hope it dies. Um, he plays the BT4 Strabby that he got off the Davis search and grabs a Kumumon. Um, I had to hard play the Loimon to pass turn to him. Um, because, I, like I said, I do have a very awkward hand. He swings in my security, checks a Loimon and dies, and plays a Tommy. Doesn't trash any sources because I don't have any. Hatch my Upa, did you evolve in a Sallow? Nice swing into security and hope it dies. Check a Tamer, that's fine. Uh, a Koji. Play a Koichi, draw one trash one, trying to get some cycle. Uh, dump Bushi. And then I Death Claw my Loey to pop his Strabby, tap my Mimi to go back to zero. And then play another Mimi, and then he goes to three from his Davis. I don't think my opponent was playing uh, Hammer Sparks. I don't think I saw them at any point uh, during this match. Um, but. Purple Mimi is really good against blue because like their hammer sparks are essentially dead cards. And he digivolves into the Kumamon and freezes nothing because I don't have anything on my board. And then plays another BT4 Strabby to put me to two. He grabs Koji and then BT6 Strabbymon. Right, and I go ahead and Schwartz's field for six, tap one of my Mimis, so it only costs five, uh, so it sets him to three with his Davis. And I didn't promote my uh, Sal because I know he's probably about to promote and swing, and that'll put me at three security, so I get the Upamon draw and the Salamon recovery if it dies. And there's a potential he could freeze it uh, if I uh, promote it and don't swing. He digivolves into Kori Kakumon for a full three. Uh, to go to zero. Swings in my security, checks him that. Pretty nice. Um, I don't think he really had a really good option to choke me, but checking the mat definitely hurts. Uh, mat triggers, and I grab the low Mon for my trash. Um, he gains a memory from the BT6 Strabby um, to go back to one. And then he plays BT7 Strabby. Sets me to two, but I'll go to three from Matt, thankfully. And then he grabs the Kori Kakumon off the uh, Strabimon search. All right, now I can do some fun stuff. I promote, swing my Sala into security, trigger Upa to draw. Check a Kumamon and die, thankfully, so I delete and recover one. And then I Digivolve my Loimon on top of my Koichi. Digivolve Rihimon for one. And then I have a couple options here, but I go ahead and just Cherubi him. Um, it gives him four memory, but it gets a nuke his board again. And then I'm set up to uh, kill him on my turn um, because I have, I either have a death claw or a calling from the darkness in my hand, so I can guarantee pop my cherub. I'm gonna gain the memory back from the Koichi, so it's a net zero play, 
and I have Ibushi in trash, like if I if he doesn't freeze my chair, that's two checks right there, and I just need any uh, any hybrid uh, to kill him. Plays a BT4 Strabby. Adds a Magna Gururumon. And then he uh, activates Koji's effect to put five uh, five hybrids from his hand underneath to uh, warp essentially into Magna Garu. I was concerned that he was going to put a second Magna Garu underneath the Koji and bounce my Cherub. That kind of that would have sucked, uh, but fortunately he did not have a second Magna in his hand to do that, so dodge a bullet there. He wouldn't have, like, it wouldn't have been, like, a huge deal. He just probably would have kept me from killing him on this turn. So I swing into a security, and thankfully we just check a Magna for 12k, so Cherub just dies. So I just gain a memory and then get to play uh, three rookies for my trash, because I have three tamers on the field. Um, but like I said, this didn't matter. I had uh, an op a one-cost option in my hand to kill him, so basically I just get got to save that card. I swing with the Bushi because it has Rush, and I check a Supreme Cannon, which bounces all my 3k Digimon back to my hand. Doesn't matter. Have a hybrid. So I do take game one. Um, my opponent chooses to go first for game two. Um, but this really shows, like, blue hybrid isn't that big of a deal versus purple Cherubi. Uh, purple Cherubi's biggest weakness is for sure red. Uh, but blue hybrid is so slow... So it's just like a slow methodical deck uh it's faster than yellow but you get so much extra time um even though both of my opening hands are kind of awkward here i just have time to like start setting up and i can just aggress him and i'm never going to run out of resources and if i just play around his freezing which is pretty easy to do and a soren joe's uh there's not really much he can do. Um, Cause I can delete my own stuff, so he's never just gonna like continuously free something on my board. And that's the biggest advantage Purple Cherub has uh, over Blue Hybrid, is the fact that I can just choose when I want to kill my stuff. Uh, I do swing the Bushi, uh, check a 7k Beowulf Mon and die. And like I said, I do have an awkward hand once again, so I do play the Sala for four. Puts him to one, then Sora and Joe puts him to three. But I'm fine with that, as long as I don't give him more than three memory, that's cool. He evolves into a Kendo for the full three. Uh, swings with Jamming. Uh, triggers Upa to draw and Strapimon to gain a memory. Um, he does have Jamming, so checking the 7k Rehumon doesn't matter. Digivolves into Kori Kakumon for one to freeze my Sala. That's fine. And then plays a BT4 Stribemon. Search top three. Grabs a Kuma and a Davis. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the board that he's starting to set up. Uh, but I don't feel super threatened as long as I can answer it a little bit on this turn. So Digivolve my Kaiser Leo on top of my mat for two, and then I Digivolve my Rehimon on top of that for one. And then I swing over his Kori Kakumon since it's only 6k, thankfully. Feels good. And then I Deathclaw my Rehimon to pop his Bokomon, uh, which is by far the most dangerous Digimon he has on his field. Uh, Rehimon will trigger to play Matt back. And then with Matt, I'm going to grab the Rehimon back. And that puts him to one, and then Soren Joe uh, gives him an extra two memory for, because of the Salamon not having any sources. But he's not getting more than three. And I killed two of his Digimon. He hatches, Digivolves into the Madoki Betamon. And then he Digivolves into a, another Kori Kakumon for three. Freezes the Sala again. I don't really care. 
Um, it's not really bothering me. Then he plays a Tommy. Put me to three. And I'm going to promote. And I swing security with my Bushi. I hope he dies. Uh, but he actually surprisingly doesn't. He checks a 1k uh, Strapimon and lives. Um, not a big deal, though. At least he uh, has an Upamon underneath him still, so... I potentially might be able to play around Sora and Joe here. I played the Koichi, uh, draw one trash when I trash a, uh, a Bokomon. And then I calling from the darkness my Salomon to delete it and set him to one. And then I add back a Kaiser Leomon and a Rihimon back to my hand. Pretty nice. It's fun choking blue since, uh, you know, they uh, choke everyone all the time, forever. He swings with his Cory Kakumon at security for 6k. And then checks a Cherub and dies. And he swings his Madoki into security. Uh, triggers Thor and Joe to trash the Upa. And then triggers his Upa to draw a card since my Bushi doesn't have any sources. Checks a Death Claw. Death Claw deletes Madoki. Pretty uh, lucky security check there. Although I, I could have answered the Madoki uh, on my turn since he suspended it. Then he plays a Davis to give me the uh, three memory that I'm going to get anyway and grabs another BT4 Stravimon. Did you evolve into a Sal? Which is nice to see uh, since I am getting a little low on security. I swing my Bushi for 3k. Thankfully, he does check a 3k this time, so he does die. Because I do want to try to play around Soren Joe. I don't want him to go to 5 memory. That'd be dangerous. I did evolve into Kaiser Leo on top of Koichi for 2. I mean, he does gain the retaliation for the turn. Or for the next... Until the end of my opponent's next turn. Did you evolve into Rihi for 1. Now, swing security. If he lives or dies, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, he does live here, though. And then I'm going to Jack Raid to go to 1. Uh, I have exactly 10 cards in my trash. And then I did evolve into Cherub. I Jack Raided just so I would avoid giving him 4 memory instead of 3. Uh, because I still don't know for sure that he's not playing Sparks. I don't want to assume he's not playing Sparks. And if I give him 4 memory and he has double Hammer Spark and he has 3 hybrids in his hand, I potentially just lose because I only have 2 security. Um, so that's why I did that. There's no really, there's no uh, sense in holding that jack raid. Uh, so he digivolves into a Kumamon, strips the bottom source of my Cherub, which is my Koichi. And then he digivolves into Beowulf for one. Swings Beowulf into security. He's going to trigger Soren Joe, trash bottom two sources of my Cherub. And then triggers Tommy to freeze the Cherub, so I can't swing with him on my turn. And then Beowulf hits a Mimi, which is cool. Another Tamer. And then he plays a Koji, and then I go to three for my map. And then, barring Hammer Spark and Security, I should take this game. I uh, swing Sal into Security, uh, draw from Upa. And then play Loyamon for game. So I do take it 2-0. Um, like I said, Blue Hybrid is not really a big deal for Purple Cherub. Um, the, hopefully this showcases that a little bit. As long as you play around, just don't leave yourself on the field. That's pretty much it. Just don't leave yourself on the field. Um, make sure you just dump all your cards into trash. And then once you pop a Cherub, uh, you just kill them. And just, yeah, just keep poking until they're dead. Pretty simple. Uh, but I do appreciate you guys stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're interested in this kind of content. I want to come back for more. But until next time, see ya.